This is Hanworth and in the Second World War there was an enormous factory around here where they made gunpowder and during the Second World War it was bombed by the Germans and there was a huge explosion which destroyed the entire factory, so, or almost the entire factory and so they had to, and so after the war they just had this vacant land and they built lots of houses on here rather quickly and you can see the history, that says Urban District of Feltham in the red text on that sign And, you can, and that sign, it's so tiny, you can't really see it. It says, London Borough of Hounslow. This area has moved boroughs. When the apartment buildings were originally built, they actually didn't have them with lifts. And that bit in between, I think, is actually a lift tower that they added in the 80s. They had a lot of lift towers in the 80s. And the lifts in them are all broken. I think they're Hammond and Champnesses and they're all broken, they don't maintain them anymore so now everyone has to walk on the stairs This is a building site where they're rebuilding many of the houses This is a building where they're moving the residents out because they're going to demolish it and currently they're using part of it as the site office because people still live here you can still walk up to it though that, that meant stuff and an anti tea tip poster. So let's go upstairs. This is this is what the 1940s buildings that they built around here look like. They, they all look rather like this. It's actually rather similar to um, to where my grandmother grew up because her father um, was a refugee from East Prussia when it was taken over by the Soviet Union, um, and and they built and they built quite a lot of houses rather quickly for these refugees, and they all had this sort has sort of similar architectural style to this. Although now. I've seen some photos and those houses are now a lot more brightly painted than they used to be. And these houses don't have any paint on them, they just leave exposed bricks. And exposed brick is sort of how we decorate our houses exterior in Britain. Exposed brick inside is just weird. Exposed brick outside is what nearly everyone has. Architectural this is what most of Hanworth looks like architecturally. Not that interesting architecturally, but it's got sort of a story behind it. And anyway, these sort of older 1940s buildings definitely look better than that 80s crap or whatever shit they're going to put up on the building site. Because, I mean, we criticise post war architecture and then go ahead and build very similar architecture. It's actually not really that similar, but it's even worse. I mean, a lot of these 60s buildings actually look nicer than a lot of modern buildings. Yeah. Over there, that metal building stands out against one of these older houses. It's really far away in my camera. That further than it is in real life, which is a bit weird, but cameras have had that effect. Um, and can you guess what it is? That building is the factory where they make Dewhurst lift buttons. Dewhurst is a rather weird company. Sort of, their products are used by 
millions of people every day, yet they have low brand awareness, which is rather weird. Nearly all of the people who use their products don't know about them. I found a rare Matesco Electricity Service manhole cover.